best bites forever. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Alicia and in this video I'm going to show you how I make a cheese plate. I like to start off first by putting all of my larger pieces onto the plate. In this case, that's my cheese. When I'm choosing what kind of cheese I want to use, I like to use a variety. Here I'm using sheep's milk, goat milk, and a cow milk cheese to give me my variety. Sometimes I like to go with a soft, a medium, and a hard cheese, or maybe like a brie along with a blue cheese and a gouda. You could also go with a theme such as all Spanish cheeses. The next thing that I'm adding on is my marinated mushrooms. I'll leave this recipe down in the description. And another good option here would be a little bit of olives. Then my crackers go down along with a little bit of meat. Here I'm adding a little bit of prosciutto to the tray. I really like to use the prosciutto because of the saltiness that it brings onto my cheese tray. And I'm getting a good variety of flavors here with the marinade that the mushrooms are in, the saltiness of the prosciutto, and now I want to balance that with a little bit of sweet. So here I'm adding some dried fruit. In this case, these are dried apricots. I remember the first time that I had to make a cheese tray in a restaurant and the chef came over to me and he was like, Alicia, what's missing? And I went down the list and I said, you know, chef, everything's here. Look, I have this, 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 and I was crossing them off and he said, Alicia, the love is missing. You're missing the love here. And I was just kind of like, what do you mean? And he showed me how much better a cheese tray looks when you fill it up by adding the dried fruit and mixed nuts and these types of things. Here, I'm adding on some grapes, and as you can see, I'm putting little clusters of grapes, two to three in each little bunch. That way people can grab them off without leaving like the grape skeleton behind, which isn't very attractive. I also put just the teeniest, tiniest bit of cooking spray onto my grapes, and then I wipe them clean with a paper towel to give them the beautiful shine that they have. The next thing that I'm going to add on here are some mixed nuts and again this is the love that I was learning about is filling up all of those little empty spaces it really does make your cheese tray look so much better and more inviting like people can just dig into it so I'm just going to add some grapes here on the other end and I think this is absolutely beautiful at this point and ready to serve what's your favorite cheese to put onto a cheese tray leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video Hi again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like and a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends because sharing is caring. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to go ahead and subscribe now. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone. Best bite forever.com